fights with uh, one or two, Mervyn Shaffer. So we get a generous sprint. Uh, generous who was there. Let's listen to it. Uh, the start of the story. The situation this morning, did it stall the free movement of traffic? Did you observe uh, a free, I mean, a slow movement of traffic around the capital here? Uh, as you may know, Liberia is a one way street, especially when it comes to people commuting from, 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 from one end to another. You realize that more people will be coming to town from Prince I mean, it created a serious traffic, it created a serious halabalu, cars were stalled, movement was stalled, and then it had to bring upon a huge crowd that, 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 that really impeded traffic. It did impede traffic, and then it, it, it somehow obstructed daily movement. Well, was there any fight between uh, Yake Koluba, the Honorable Yake Koluba, and then the, the inspector, uh, one or two? Well, physically, I didn't see any fight, but when it, in my presence, when I was there, I heard the, 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 the deputy commander for police instructing his junior officers to arrest Yake and hang up him, which of course they didn't do. There was, there was, there was, there was, there was another tussle right here, uh, closer to the building, where in the, the one or two himself went. To, 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 to arrest or apprehend Yeke, but then he was, he was, he was, he was resisted by Yeke, uh, you know, based on the intervention from other lawmakers or the Puna, Puna de Kofa and Mavi Ko. So there were no physical tussle besides what happened recently at the, the UL campus, and there were no damage, there were no casualties. But there, 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 there were also uh, opposing posts to, to the, the one or two as well, Mavi Sako, when it came to arrest Yeke from the as a lot because has his own followers so when the issue started i think the message went out and we saw a huge follower a huge backup for yeke there was surveillance though but then they were there to resist whatsoever arrest that was, was going to be implemented on yeke and then they were in the background and packing yeke up that he cannot be arrested so yeke hired own followers who were there supporting him to resist the arrest wise one or two and his own men there were there trying to pull yeke over but as a stood. There were no, inter, there were no, inter, no, 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 no commotion. There were no force, but they had two opposing sides that were resisting and trying to implement. Your name again, sir. I'm Edward B. Palmer, managing editor and publisher of the Manifest Newspaper. All right, there you have it. That was an eyewitness uh, to the saying what to everything happened. So we down at the capital building. You see everyone standing here. They're just talking about the same issue. So we tried to see the honorable car that was uh, involved in such thing. This is Skim TV, Lagros number one online TV section. <laughs> So this is the vehicle that was involved for in such thing. This is the Honorable Yeke Kolobas vehicle. So as you can see at the back, there is that there, there is no uh, license plate at the back here. So we we'll try to see the front. Uh, if we we'll catch a license plate, 
There you go. There's a lesson plate in from here. There's a HR 36. There you go. So most of these vehicles, some will have lesson plates in the front, while others will have nothing in the back. Some will don't even have a, a plate will be in a convo going. And there you go. This is the 102 vehicle, Mary Sharp. So we see a plate in the front too. So we, we want to see if we also have a, a plate at the back. Yes, it has a plate at the back. So this is KMTV, Labrador online TV section. Uh, we are the Capitol building. There was a little commotion between the Honorable Yaka Poluba and then the one or two, Mervyn Sarko. So as it stands, uh, we don't know where the two are, but we see the two vehicles parked out here. So you see people all crowded here. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Welcome to KMTV. Yeah, good morning. Uh, your name, name, name is T. Benjamin Miles. Mr. Miles? Yeah. Uh, were you, uh, did you watch uh, the thing? Did you watch what happened this morning? I, I, I witnessed partly what happened, and I've gotten a full understanding of what just transpired. Uh, can you give us your view on this? Well, I'm told that uh, one or two, the police one or two, attempted arresting on Miege Koloba was on his way to the capital and he was using the third lane and he tried to enforce the arrest. The arrest could not take effect because other officers refused to arrest uh, on Miege Koloba and he kept running behind his car until he entered the capital and was attempting on the grounds of the capital to effect the arrest against on Miege Koloba for using third lane. For me, I think one of two is blatantly illiterate. He does not know of a simple law. A law was passed by both houses that gave clemency to all lawmakers, including associate justices of the Supreme Court, to use their lane in cases of emergency, especially when they are on their way to perform their, their, their official duties. One or two is very illiterate, so oblivious of that law. Had he known that such law exists, you would not have done anything extraordinary. I can give you an account. Well, Rodney C. at one point in time published a story against one of the associate justices of the Supreme Court for using a third lane. He was summoned at the Supreme Court and the law was displayed before him and that right was given. So our police officers must not just be obsessed with wearing uniform and trying to effect power in the name of being uh, a government person against the opposition. I think they must be knowledgeable about the law because if one or two does not know about such law and he will come to condescend this law manifesting indignity in such a way, tell me why much more about a non rich student who has just joined the Liberian police. They could do worse than that. I think the police need serious education and that education has to begin with one or two because it's very, it's very dark. It is not a constitution, it's a statutory law. It's a statutory law. I may not quote verbatim the law. But I, as a staffer of the capital, I'm well knowledgeable that such law does exist. Okay, uh, in, in your uh, introduction statement, you may mention of uh, some police were uh, asked to go and arrest the honorable uh, lawmaker and they refused. That pushed Mervyn Sacco to come and, uh, and attack the, allegedly attack the lawmaker. But why did they refuse? Well, I think uh, 
perhaps they don't want to say in the public that a boss was wrong, but I think some of them had the knowledge that a boss was overstepping his bounds. And so they had to refuse to do what is wrong. And it is against that backdrop that Honorable Yeke Koloba got in his car and began to and started driving at the Capitol. Honorable Marvin Cole was present. He tried to make a swift intervention to bring the situation to calm, but one or two was very adamant. And he appears so emotional. A police officer must not be emotional. You must be very sure of the law you want to effect, and you must know that you are on your right point. But he doesn't know all of these things, and it saddens me the most. I think the police needs to go through rigorous training so our police officers can be knowledgeable about which law to, to effect, and at what time, and against whom. Uh, since you've been working at the Capitol building, have you seen any arrest? Have you seen the police uh, arresting someone it at is, this building? It is forbidding. It is forbidding also for a police officer to just rush at the grounds of the Capitol to effect an arrest. For such to be done, the leadership of the House of Representatives and the Liberian Senate must be informed about such arrests. They will, in turn, give you the go-ahead to effect an arrest. But you cannot do anything of such kind except where in the person has committed murder or rape or a crime that is of a first degree felony. Then in the eventuality of not wanting the suspect to escape, maybe you could effect an arrest and later on inform the leadership of the, the Liberian Senate and the House of Representatives. But you cannot effect any other arrest other than those two I've just mentioned against anybody whatsoever on the grounds of the Capitol without the knowledge of the leadership. Thank you very much. So this is Kate McSee. Let, let, let's go speak to uh, another person. Uh, you welcome to KNTV. Good morning, how are you? Uh, right, uh, Daniel, uh, for the record, can you give us your full name? I'm, I'm Daniel O. Sando. Mr. Sando, did you watch uh, what happened this morning or did you have any clue about that? Well, to the best of my recollection, we see officers of the Liberia National Police being deployed on the grounds of the Capitol building, and I also see the vehicle of the, the Deputy Director for Operation of the Liberia National Police. And uh, I'm being reliably informed that he came to purposely arrest Honorable uh, Yeke Koloba, the representative for Electoral District Number 10 in West Florida County. And, uh, I was, I was kind of astonished because the country is governed by law. And, uh, the Constitution grants these legislators the protection that they cannot be arrested while in route or from section. They cannot also be prosecuted for opinion expressed during section. Okay? For the deputy director of the RMP to bring armed men at the grounds of the Capitol building to come and arrest a lawmaker for quote unquote using the chair lane, the traffic, I think it's not just unfortunate, but it testifies to the extent to which. Governance and the rule of law have generated, are degenerated under the WIA administration. I don't think this is the way the framework and craft of our constitution and our republic intended it to be. Okay, where you will have people who are in the paralegal agencies of government to come and begin to to vent out their anger against people who have dissenting opinions against the government. This is complete. This is complete question against an opposition figure for his view being expressed against against the president or the government. And I didn't expect some of the Mervyn are going to behave this way, okay? When you come to, to law enforcement, when you come to providing services for the public, you have to be, you have to be credible, okay? For him to, to begin to, to, to threaten to arrest a lawmaker because he may express opinion against the president, threaten to drag a lawmaker because he may have the constant habit of attacking the president, I don't think that's a job of a police officer. It is not his job. Okay? So you, you have worked at the Capitol building for some time. When such thing happened, what are some of the... The, the implication, what are some of the punishment for those things? Well, it has never happened before. It has never happened before. And not just because, not just because past police agency or, or heads of police agency have been very dumbass, but that is not a motor supervisor of the police to come to arrest a lawmaker who is in rude section and has not committed any felonious offense. Okay? The country is governed by law. If you have issues with opinion being expressed by Uncle Koroba against the government that you serve, there are remedies provided for Onuawa. But this was not uh, the okay. doubt in word. I think uh, they were saying he went on the chair lane and then he. Well, the use, the use of chair lane by lawmakers is legitimate. So what do, you, what do you think is going to happen in this case? Just a couple of. Couple of couple, I mean, it, it was last month. The Associate Judge of the Supreme Court, Justice, I mean, uh, uh, Mr. Justice uh, Nangwe, was seen using the chair lane 
the, the managing editor of the front page Africa Ronald article condemning him. Um, Mr. Ronnie State was cited to a conference at the Supreme Court. And Justice Lambert displayed a law that was crafted by this legislature granting officials of the Fort Virginia government and the executives, including, including the judiciary, to use sterling in instances of emergency. Okay, so it's not illegal. So I think Mr. 102, who is who is currently here at the, at the grounds of the Capitol, should know better than this. When you are a police director, when you are deputy for operation, there are many things happening. The armed robbery rate in the country has increased. What is it doing to provide safety for our citizens? What you think by coming to arrest Honorable Koloba is the way you can show that the police force is effective? That's blessedness. Okay? Go on the highway. There's no highway patrol, no public safety. You know, I mean, you as a deputy director of operation, you should be thinking to bring about innovation. Innovative ways how the police can be more proactive. But you sit there and reduce yourself to a partisan police and you come to run after people who have the same views against the government. I think it's unfortunate. Do you think this is going to disturb session to distance to this team? It's not going to disturb session. It's not going to disturb. But I think, I think to those who are watching from outside Liberia, to those who are watching from outside Liberia, I mean, I, I can't imagine a shame, disgrace, and embarrassment the action of these people continue to bring to the country. Liberia is the first independent African republic on the continent. We used to be the big home of both all African countries. Look at our country now. We have a footballer in the mansion. Who thinks that ever in the country should be accountable to him? It doesn't work that way. But this is not about the president. This was just a conversation, uh, well, confrontation between... Well, these direct minute for the president. <laughs> if you listen to what David Sarkar was saying, that on the quarterback is in the constant habit of attacking the president, making derogatory comments against the president, he arrested the man and dragged the man. I mean, to be dragging somebody in this ancient time reminds me of our war years. We don't run a rebel force. You gotta be civil. If you think the man has committed an offense, the court is there. You can't above the law. You come to hijack in the traffic and even follow him on the grounds of the capital. This is a suffering environment. You don't bring armed men here to terrorize and intimidate members of the legislature and the staff. You don't do that. And I think it's very much unfortunate. Thank you very much. Thank you. Are you aware that this is MTV, like most of our online TV section, so there you see a lot of people standing around. So I think uh, today it's going to disturb the section, and then the, everything is just going the wild. People are just standing around discussing. This is KMTV, like most of our online TV station. My name is Scott Febby Duquansa. Thanks for watching, and thanks for your many comments. Uh, we pray that everything goes well. Bye bye for now.